first class upgrades for everybody down the line, I would think. Sure. Driscoll, Covington, and Lennox, the officials, as we're underway with Auburn grabbing the opening tip. Jim Nichols, Grant Hill, right now. What guys do? Wait a minute. Bill Raftery. All right. Here we go. Iowa gives up a lot of points in the paint. You've got to go inside early and establish the post presence of room if you're Auburn. Got a tough kid on both ends of the floor, too. Nice take. Wow, how about that? That's Jasper. Zip. Zips to the hole for a quick two. Silly foul. And he commits the foul at this end. Perkins, too, doing a good job of drawing that foul as well. But nice drive. Huh? Green. Not a lot of help coming at all. Just able to get to his spot. Excuse me, Jasper on that play. A good defender, too. We give up that foul early. Almost turned it over. Hawkeye is able to keep it. Perkins good at attacking the rim. And this kid is good any place. Takes it to the hole and lays it in softly. Just a tough match. It's actually, you know what, he reminds me of you, although he's a southpaw. Seriously, a tough guy to control because he can play all areas of the floor. I'll take the compliment. Thank you, <laughs> I would like to be compared to him. That's, I think that's quite good. There's a left-handed shot. And pulled down by Flanagan. Takes it back outside after the wind's miss. He has really been playing well, Flanagan, I think. Making his outside shot. Quick to the rim. Speaking of quick to the rim. That's green, and he's pushed by Perkins. You see right away Auburn making a concerted effort to drive, get paint touches, get to the rim. Not a great outside shooting team. And certainly knowing Iowa, not known for its defense as well. Eastern Kentucky kid. Story's been told frequently. Saw him play early in his career and didn't pay any attention, right? Yeah. Bruce talked to his son. Steve, they said, you know, he's available at Eastern Kentucky. Remember him? Yeah, I do. He's the best player on the floor when we saw him. So he transferred to Auburn. Really good on both ends, too. One on one defense is excellent. Kid gets to the rim, gets to the free throw line. By the way, that last free throw just tied the Auburn record for most consecutive free throws made 27. This is for the all time school record uh -oh. or the all time announcer's jinx. <laughs> All right, there it is. You're off the hook. Okay. You go. Working with it here. On an island, really. Eubus back Eubus. outside. Let's see what Murray can do. He can work his way to a shot. The ball comes loose, but it's because he was hacked on the way in by Williams. One of those guys, I think I'd make him, force him to make a deep one first. He's so effective with the dribble and clever. I mean, he can jump, stop, get on two feet, can drop step. He attracts a lot of attention. First team Big Ten versus his brother last year was the star of the team. And Chris didn't score like he does now. It's like he was just waiting for it to be his year and respectfully stepped aside. He had some big outbursts, but it's his team this year. And Responded. He had a pretty good game, but his brother was out. And this kid, so good all around. This kid is good at the rim. Watch, he is a tough, tough out. Now, and if you're Auburn, you cannot double team him because he also can find those shooters so deadly from downtown. Turn around, doesn't go, and out with it comes Iowa's Murray. Gotcha with a good job, runs rim to rim two and ducks in. Perkins backs up now. Didn't like what he saw. The friend has always been a heck of an offensive coach. Nice lob to the rim, an easy opportunity at the rim. They spread you out, and as you noted, they pass it out, and you can make some threes as well. Wow, that was the second foul on Williams. That's big early. I mean, we're just a little more than two minutes into the game. And he averages 11 points, five rebounds a game, and he's already saddled with two. He had a pretty good game against Alabama, too. 16 points. He can do some damage on offense. Watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Scan the QR code now to download. So they take him out. Chris Moore coming in, Jim. Yeah, they're glad to have him somewhat. 
healthy again. I mean, it's not all the way back. Good defender, offensive rebounder. Both of the fouls on Williams is when he was trying to defend against Murray. Flanagan. Tough shot. Good D. Iowa pulls it away and takes off running with Perkins. Take in the middle. Pull up. Blocked from behind by Moore. One hustle. Oh, get it. Murray, three. Well, that's what makes Connor McCaffrey special. Gotcha. He stole that pass that was being saved to Broom. Step right in front now, Flanagan. I didn't go inside a little bit here. And we're got some game in here. Step back. Tapped around and into the hands of Connor McCaffrey. And what, what I said before about him, especially, he can pass the ball. Doesn't stick in his hands, McCaffrey. Got to take him inside and elevate. He's got the match he wants with Green. Perkins, five on the shot clock when he took that. It looks like he thought he was trying to. Two left, got to yep. shoot it. There it is. <laughs> Auburn made its first shot of the game. It's missed its last four. This Broom comes inside, spins, puts it up. Got it. Nice move, Raph. Right there, Broom showing his versatility. Beautiful spin and touch on the interior. He's not playing above the rim. He's just sound and basic. But he moves now. Slick and Pete, they cut. Ratchet comes back out high. Nice repose. Missed him. Excellent defense. Yeah, making Iowa work for a shot. A tough shot. Tough pass. Right back to Murray, who launches. Again, it was a battle against the clock. They want to speed it up if they can. Nice step through. Flanagan floats for two. I'll tell you. He is playing solid basketball. Every game I've seen late in the season. This will be a Got the under 16 timeout. Just what we thought going to be exciting. Pulsating inside the arena here in Birmingham. Nothing's easy, but easier. It helps. It right? <laughs> doesn't hurt. It does help. There are no gimmies, but Alabama will. will be, of course, playing Maryland here on Saturday. And the highest seed remaining now is a three Baylor. And yeah, Pete Carrillo's smiling up there, I'm sure. Sprints the team. Of course, the memory of the UCLA win. Look at that move. And it's all Iowa underneath. Perkins was too far under the cylinder. A.D. Johnson, a kid likes the moment. An aggressive performer. A triple drive. Starter last year. A man of many faces, by the way. <laughs> yeah. We ca captured those last year, I remember. Yeah. Nice slip to Broom. Tries to go outside with it, and it's Murray. What a great read by Murray. Right away, Connor doesn't waste time. They're letting for Bracha go to work now. Iowa started two for two from the field. Those now they're work. 0 for 8. With great footwork from up empty that trip. Nine consecutive misses from the field as Green hesitates. Nice cut. Oh, dishes to Moore, and he's short with the layup. Got to finish that. Great look. Not the mismatch, I think. Switch it. Switch it back. Yeah, smart. Green is an intelligent player. There's Murray. That's a three. Oh, In the looks. Yep. Right now, Iowa 0 for 5 from the three-point line, 2 of 11, 2 of 12 from the field. So, good credit to Auburn's D. And that helps. Only the other way over the top. Off the fingertips of nine. Well, Auburn started 16 and 3. Life was good. Then they've, well, coming in here, they've gone 4 and 9. Four wins in the last 13 games. What's happened? A lot of close losses, I will say that. I think the league helped. The league or, is tough. You know, yeah. is a tough sure. league. And you get stumbled in the wrong direction, sometimes you can't correct it. Jet lag. No, I'll yeah. never work <laughs> Fatigue, exactly. Now, giving up open floor opportunities is one of the things that they talked about. Hurt them. Flanagan 
whistled for that one, his first. Uh, big concern of Bruce was getting back in transition. Thus far, pretty solid. Sanford has come in for Iowa, and he can fill it up. Big Ten sixth man of the year. Number 20 right there for Iowa. And he had a great summer and fall and then struggled early yeah. in the year. He had, the, he had shooter's yips. He basically did. Well, I saw some yips earlier today. A guy putting on it. <laughs> <Did too. laughs> uh, Patrick, there's, good passer, good shooter. Here's Sanford who just built him up. This is his first attempt. So Patrick McCaffrey has come on to the floor. Look at this screen off by Kyle you are stalling what Flanagan's been doing lately, and he's showing it all right now. That's what happens when you run the floor to big fella. He's pinned his guy. I was missed 11 straight shots. Just down four points. Probably oh, that bad offense. He just get plays hard. Gotcha. gotcha. Good defense there, Cardwell, but finally. Is left away. Feeling it. Takes the three. Good screen out. Nice run here. Nice cut. cut. To Sanford. Oh, what an assist that was by Patrick McCaffrey. Oh, it saves of his father, who's a great passer, too. Wake Penn. So even with all those misses, point well made, Grant. Game's tied. Flanagan goes up and under. Going back to the Hawkeyes. Said it best, transition basketball, textbook, fast break. McCaffrey didn't stay at the three-point po three line, excuse me, Sanford. Made a beautiful cut, great pass and finish. Iowa now starting to find their rhythm. Too good of an offensive team to shoot that poorly for long. Auburn with another sub. Traor coming in for them. Freshman from France. Mentioned earlier, transition D essential against this Iowa team. They can hit you fast. Oh, doing a good job in the half court D. Yeah. Murray. I'm gonna go. Uh, oh, he's 0 for 4 from out there. And Donaldson also seeing action now. He makes a kick out threes, this kid. Uses that ball screen quite a bit. Marvel, who did a great job. What a cut here. Yes. Oh, nicely done as Berman, who's right at home here in Birmingham, his hometown. And he's known particularly in that left corner for the three. Excellent shooter. Great dive to the rim. Yeah, Sanford decided to take it. A little bit of a settle. These teams combined 0 for 10 from three. Haven't seen one in the game yet. Pretty good looks, though. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Auburn playing. That's not their game. They want to get to the paint, post up. He's the guy you got to watch on the catch. There he is, Berman. Down low in the shot clock. Watch him with a great screen out. Perkins got an open lane. Oh, yes. it up to Rabracha. Boy, that transition D. Absent. Totally. No communication. The senior from Serbia, from a basketball family. Ties the game at 12. He's got half the Hawkeye points so far. He is a tough out, tough competitor. They show recover Good a little pass. bit late. Cardwell didn't feel comfortable with it. Goes back out with six to shoot. Johnson. Look for a one. Beautifully done, too. And he can play. He, he is a tough nose kid. We talked about him as a starter last year. As he accepted his role off the bench. Right now, this second unit is in rhythm. Passing, defending. Auburn up two. Iowa answering. We got a ball game. Welcome back. Auburn making you work for every shot. Getting it done in transition, but from the three-point line, how do you be able to create better shots there? You know, I, I thought most of them, Tracy, were good until the last one. I thought we that was a little quick, a little deep. 
But Chris has had some open looks. And we'll keep shooting those. Defensively, what do you need to do against this Auburn team? Well, they're getting to the rim a little bit. They've got a lot of quickness. You know, Flanagan, Johnson, Green. Just got to make sure we're walling them off. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Chris. Coach McCaffrey, of course, his team last year, we saw them win the Big Ten tournament and go into the NCAs with all that momentum, only to lose in the first round to Richmond. It was a shocker. So trying to atone for that this year as that's nearly stolen, and then they say McCaffrey pushed off on Johnson. That nice hands. They, they had been running a nice set, little stack on each side down below, and just to reach in. Kind of usually pretty tough with the ball, but there's that brush screen. He is tenacious, number zero. JD. It's interesting how he's adapted to not starting once this year. Not a single game did he start. He's such a tough kid, they probably had the assistants tell him he wasn't starting. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, the third leading scorer in the nation for anybody off the bench who never started a single game. Well, there's a little bit of a zone look here. Oh, no. Over the top. Yeah. Download the March Madness Live app on your LG OLED TV today. It's not just OLED, it's LG OLED. And Dick's on the floor now. Offensive rebounder. Shoot it. With a little circle stack kind of set. Take away Robracho, the rest of the team's two for 13 from the field. He's nice. three out of five. Nice swipe. Well yeah. defended, yeah. As he was trying to go to the hole one more time. Uh, back to the zone, it looks like. Two, three. No, nope, match. A little bit of a matchup now. A lot of finger pointing. Sounds like us in the booth. Trying to keep Auburn out of the paint. Well, they're there. Room double up. Still takes it and able to hit it. Amazing how left-handed guys get back to that left right. hand. A pesky defense, too. There's Dex. Oh, Bruce just knocked. Yeah, he knocked Rebracha to the floor. You don't like those kind of fouls on your bigs, you know? Yeah. He's too valuable, too yeah. important to this team. Brooms first. It's all happened as Dix had a wide open look and it rimmed out for the freshman from Council Bluffs. And there's Iowa. That. You leave with the hands like that, it's telltale, nice and easy. They're going to take a look as it was maybe above the shoulders. But no shot blockers for Auburn. Well, they got to be really sound defensively. And well, Broom, I mean, he actually is a decent shot blocker. Doesn't have great lift, but 2.3 blocks a game. Has great timing and good instincts defensively. But you're right, they don't have the, the, the great athleticism. And he's so valuable to this team. So obvious that particular one. I, I don't think it's just a play on. Yeah, I agree. Sold it a little bit with his head going back, but. Smart, though. Get the hands. He's just going to play good. Yep. Quick decision. Team fouls right now. Six called on Auburn, two on Iowa. You know, we both, uh, or all three, I should say, really enjoyed talking to Bruce because he's so open about everything, his past, what he did as a manager, an assistant, BC. I, I mean, I think we asked him one question. And it was his whole life story. <laughs> exactly. And don't forget his ties as an assistant to Tom Davis at Iowa. Reveres him, talks yes. about him all the time, and why not? Tom did an amazing job every place he was coaching. Pass slow to get there with. It well defended. McCaffrey into the paint. Nice play. Well defended by Broom. Here comes Donaldson. Gives it up to Johnson on the far side. The launch. Nice rebound. All the baskets so far for Auburn have been inside the paint. All seven of them. Here's another chance here. And that's eight baskets inside the paint. This time by Broom. Uh, Fran furious. Get beat off the glass here. Got to go back with Murray. Get him going again. Yeah, but no, no resistance at all defensively. They're just driving at will into the paint, and Broom is feasting 
on the glass. Got to have a little bit of toughness there defensively of Iowa. Auburn having his day on the interior. Second foul on Connor McCaffrey. Chris Murray back on the floor, doesn't convert the end one. Johnson and Green will keep attacking. You got to step up and address that, and then you got problems on the glass. Nice denial. Here he comes. Four again. Look at Moore. Go back outside, set up a wide open three. There it is. How about that setup? 20th this year. The little guy sticks that dagger. And it's a 9 0 run. After being tied at 12. Oh, he fell to the floor at Sanford. And Green has it. Could have given it a lot. Instead, shot the three. That's surprising. The game has changed. <laughs> Perkins thought about firing it at the other end. Also, another turnover. Yep. Johnson calling for a oh, oh, that switch. Head on the left hand. Smart, too, right behind him. KD Lumen. Breaks the streak of points by Auburn. They got to get Murray going at the other end. There's that zone look again. Everybody pointing, addressing here. You got to cut. You got a triple drive, small push off on the post there. To the corner for Flanagan. Long rebound comes out to Sanford. I agree, Raph. Murray's got to get involved. Not settle maybe for the three, but get something in movement. Attacking the rim or post it up. For this point, shot. Not there. Quick catch and shoot. Auburn. They were worried about transition, but the counter, the ability to push it down the floor, the slap back, get those puppies organized. Guards dominating. Welcome back to Birmingham. Coach, a run there, but you're holding them to about 26% shooting. How have you been able to do that? Well, they've missed some open shots. It's helped us a little bit. Our ball pressure is pretty good. We're switching a lot right now, which I don't know where they anticipated. We've got some mismatches on the inside, and I imagine right now they're going to try to take advantage of them. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Tracy. We were talking about this ties with Dr. Tom. Of course, he was at Boston College as a manager, and even served one game. You mentioned it earlier, wrapped a little bit, as a mascot. Uh, but he tried to walk on to the team there, and then once his eligibility was up, he followed Tom mm -hmm. to Stanford, then to Iowa, and actually even recruited Kenyon Murray. So the whole Murray family... Right. Tied to Iowa. Traces back to Bruce Pearl and his involvement, too. Well, he became a mascot because he could get paid for it those days. <laughs> the amazing enthusiasm. Still runs a little flex action at times. It, to pay homage. And a little baseball, a little shuffle bowling pass he used to run for Tom. Lanigan got stuck Ooh, and he landed. Down. That's a travel. Ah, oh, the old days. Here you go. There's Bruce in the background. There's Dr. Tom. Mentioned his ability. He was first met him with Tom Young years ago. Very close course, longtime assistant for Tom. Pretty strong ties. Yeah, 86 to 92, he served under the great coach. Patrick really has a look for a shot. I think right here he can get that floater. Got it. Crawled over the front of the rim. Got a lot of talent there, young man. It's a great story, too. Where he, Middle of the year was struggling, not sure of things, and now he's back being Patrick. It's great. Great support system there, plus the fans. Tough shot. Well defended. Here he is. Again, coming up with it. Patrick McCaffrey gives him 10 a game. Little step to the ball. defense. Good. Oh, How jump ball? I thought he walked first. That's going to stay here. He got the arrow at this end. I tell you, Broom can play defense with yeah. the. Ohio Valley Conference Defensive Player of the Year last year at Moorhead State. Just great hands, great anticipation there, no fouling. And I read with Broom, he was 5'10 when he started playing in high school. And now he's 6'10, so he has the guard skills and the guard feel. Doesn't shoot like a guard necessarily. Right. Has great instincts on both ends of the floor. Here's the guy now. Be a little more assertive, I think. Oh, he's gonna be. Nice. Abe, oh, he got it out. The Perkins step to the hole and banks it in. How about the elevation? Pretty Murray kiss. That too. Murray was oh. in real trouble. Six nothing run for the Hawkeyes. 
There's the overload. Pointing. Trying to stretch behind Murray if they can. Good pass. Nice pass. Oh, that pass by Green. Good eyes. Murray quickly closed like in Moore, on him. Looked like Moore hurt his shoulder. Yeah, I don't think he saw him. Look at this. How about that look? Wow. I mean, in traffic, too. Let's hope he's okay. He's going out. Stinger or something. I'm not sure what happened. But once again, dribble penetration. Green. Got, got to keep him out, right? Getting to the paint. Ankle planted on the right. A little awkwardly, but it's his shoulder that it. Right up. arm. I'm not sure. Yeah. By the way, Williams is back out there now with the two fouls that were committed right at the start of the game. Nick it's Car going the other way. Nick Carwell in the back there, big, strong guy, really competes. Early in the game, he had a great rim to rim and sealed off. I'll tell you what, Iowa right now, I mean, they've not played well on the offensive end. 34% from the field, if not hit a three pointer, 0 for 9, only down three, possibly down one. So, Fran Van. Fran McCaffrey not happy, but certainly big picture has to think his team will get it going on the offensive end at some point. Bracha at the line for a one and one. 67 percent comes up empty. They have confidence to your point, though, offensively, I owe it. Really? That's their identity. Yeah. One over three minutes at this end without scoring. Flanagan comes flying in and draws the foul. And that call was on Perkins. TNT and TBS are your home for the intense action-packed Stanley Cup playoffs beginning April 18th on TBS. Don't miss a minute of the action of the Stanley Cup playoffs. So two now on Perkins. Flanagan hits that one. He'll have one more, and you is coming in. For the Hawkeyes. Now, what makes Flanagan get tough is he's a catch and shoot guy, but he can be explosive getting to the rim. Yeah, he's at his best, I think. Downhill, going right. left, mid range at the basket. Important player for this team. Of course, it helps when your dad's the assistant coach. You know? yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> clear out of sight from my boy. <laughs> well, he, of course, suffered a terrible injury that just now some thinks his explosion. Explosiveness is coming back. And we're is, seeing it tonight. He has had some during the year, though. Delicious dunks. Six points, six rebounds by Flanagan, who's ding it up right now. Almost by Green. Very keeping active. Leads him with numbers. How about that? How about that shot? That was wow. something else by Bowen. Whew. Asante Bowen, freshman from Boston. Big time attack. For his speed, his ability to get to the rim. Well, he's got a flash there at the free throw line against his zone. Nobody in, nobody in there. Bubba likes to stay near the rim. Green, a little bit of a settle there. Good block out. Yeah, that was Patrick McCaffrey who boxed out. And now down three. Let's see what Iowa can do. He's got that point forward mentality, Patrick. His team's still 0 for 9. 0 for for the night from three. Ball bounces back outside. It's going to be taken away by Green. Numbers. Maybe big numbers here. There's the line. Oh, wow. Is able to come right now. Almost landed on the rim. Oh, and a big guy gets up and down. Loves that early drag screen and sprints the floor and competes. Nice kick. Watch it. He misses it. Carvel right there contesting and showing some emotion. Lion up ahead is Green. Again, you're right. Look at that foul line. Put a little guy in there, make a catch and turn. Same thing there. Easy look. Runner. Oh. No. Mistimed on the jump by Cardwell. He works. Nice give. Bracha. Two more. Big great, guy. Can great do that. Work, yes. Right? Yeah. Six eleven on the sprint. On the break. Tops for the Hawkeyes with eight. Oh, that lob, you can see that one coming. Well, you did this quite often, I might add, but how about that? Push number 44 really working the floor. Send it in, big fella, in Birmingham, Alabama.
back in Birmingham and here you see what Auburn's done so far only 10 out of 28 from the field up three but only one made three in the game while Iowa has not hit a single one points in the paint that's been the story for the Tigers it's been the story all first half here just attacking the paint great pass great cut finishing inside and then Nice spin, great touch room, getting in there, and on the break in transition, taking a page out of Iowa's book, Auburn all day in the paint. We met with Bruce Pearl yesterday, and he, he said, look, we want to attack the closeouts. Obviously, they're not a great shooting team, but high percentage shots in the paint are working. Yeah, eight of their ten baskets have come in the lane. Auburn and those two guards are tough to control. No question about it. And of course, the softness of the matchup too. Let's them turn that corner be creative. What well, first time three quarter court. Ricky use some clock. See if they can rush it and again still the match. It's kind of a one three one zone falls back to a two three. I think if they morph, morph to a man to man. Pretty. How about that move? Basket by Williams once again in the paint two fouls. He's been resting. He gets 11 a game. Set. Nice yeah. cut. What a screen by Murray. And of course, the read. The camera. Beautiful call from the sideline. Beautiful assist. And it's a 27 24 game. Final two minutes of the first half. Back into the paint. Williams again. A little flex cut. Yep. Flex cut against that zone. And the screener flash. Williams once again effective. And the duck in. And that's what old Tom Davis way short. Beautiful. Trickery. Green through traffic. Good help by LaBracci. Williams has hit buckets the last two times down the floor. He got a little help. Wow, the trouble. Yeah. They got it. Now it's called from the far side. Called from the far side. Turnover it is. We got a timeout on the floor. Here's what happened. This ball bounces off the official. So they they've changed the call once on the floor. Then they turn around and reversed it back. They're going to give the ball to Auburn. Even though the official was standing out of bounds. Gene, this is complicated, but it's going to be Tiger basketball. Look, it is, Jim. Yep. And, and basically what had happened, because the official was standing out of bounds when the ball contacts him, by rule, he would be out of bounds. Now, the officials didn't see that in real time. This is a play that happens outside of the last two minutes of the game, so they can't review that. So they're basically going to say, now they've had an inadvertent whistle situation. They'll put the ball in play with 17 seconds in the shot clock, Auburn basketball. All right, thank you, Gene. Very well yeah, explained. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Clarified. Seven seconds to go, shoot. Green, yeah. all kinds of time to get set. Doesn't Look at lead this to rebound. a bank. That's boom and one. Well, that's the problem in that matchup. You can't stick somebody. You look for a guy in your area, but you can slide by. And when good shooters can keep it in play like this, nobody putting the body on them. Look like Bowen in there was on Broom. What a mismatch inside. Yeah. And also, you gave up a wide open three pointer to yeah, Green as well. Time, so yeah. that, Zone kind of falling apart there on that last possession for Iowa. Closing out half, so important. First foul on Bowen and now Broom, who has 6.6 rebounds. Last minute. Let's see what can happen. A team that averages 80 points a game has been held to 24 in the first half without a three. Pass. Pass. Look at that. Oh my goodness, what a fall. That is KD Johnson. Whoa. He is taking a nasty tumble. He is a tough kid, though. He wasn't going to give up a layup no matter what. Lucky he landed just on Yo. his back. He's worrying. Plays like that. Uh, no place for him to go either. No. Goodness. He's ready to go, though. He's as tough as they come. Uh, he is. Better be after that. Shoulder, right arm, too. And they pulled him up by it, too. He's trying to count the pieces. I got two arms, two legs. Tough, tough. Oh. Well, that's his style, though. 
Jean Sterator watching that said nothing flagrant there, nor was there any hint of that by the officials. Johnson's we had fun visiting with him last year in Greenville in the first yeah, round. We did. He got knocked out in the second round last year by Miami by 19. Jim Laranega's team. It was a surprise, a 10 over a 2. Was. Game high, 8 points for Rabracha. Coming up, AT&T at the half scores and highlights. Latest NCAA tournament news on a wild opening Thursday. All coming up, AT&T at the half. Leor Berman on the floor now, very dangerous on the dribble drive situation. Making the free throw sets the pressure up. Williams, totally gone. I don't know. Rattles out. Boy, oh, that, that was speed was... again. They pushed him into playing quicker. That was unusual. I try and get Murray something before yeah, Green on McCaffrey. Yeah. See it. They're switching automatically, something he generally doesn't do. This is where you got to go. Get him going a little bit. Murray's going to one field goal, and that one slides off. 22 seconds to go. Auburn can take the last shot and get out of this jam, and they'll inbound the ball. Murray is now one for seven. He's missed his last six shots from the field. And good defense there by Williams. Two fouls and just kind of walled him up, didn't reach over, forced him into a tough shot. Murray struggling inside and outside. That ball lets them set their press up. His only basket for Murray was on the Hawkeyes' first possession of the game. Final 10 seconds, first half. I might go man to man this trip here. Don't give up anything easy. Here's Green. Green looks up. He sees there's just a second to go. Pretty good defensively. Thought it was going to be a neck ball. Hey, <laughs> that's Jim sent to the court. <laughs> Not a great Iowa first half, but hang it. But we'll give credit to Auburn. I yeah. mean, they've really taken them out of their flow, their rhythm, their timing. The Expect Iowa to make adjustments and be more efficient in the second half. You saw Bruce looking at Green for an explanation of that last possession. Let's go to Trace. Just a battle, Coach, throughout this one. What are you so pleased about, though, that you've seen from your team in this first half? Well, Iowa's number three in the country in offensive efficiency. Tracy, they're a great offensive team. And, and for us to hold them down to 26 points is, is really good. Um, we got to do a better job ourselves offensively executing. Um, and that's, we've got 20 more minutes. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Nine different players for the Tigers had at least one basket. Auburn 31, Iowa 26. We'll send you to the AT&T at the half after these messages. You're watching the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. Let's take a look at the Dove Men Plus Care first half stats. And here you go. It's the, by the way, the, for Iowa, it's the first time this season that the Hawkeyes had a half without making a triple. Not one. It's incredible. This high-powered offense averaged 80 points a game, but really it's been all about the defense and defending Chris Murray right here. A little miscommunication. I thought the physicality there, getting in the passing lane, walling up on defense for Chris Murray is so good in the post and then contesting everything, making things difficult for Murray on the offensive end. Give it up to Bruce Pearl in his defensive attack. Offensive struggles. Well, they're mounting. And by the way, we're only talking one out of nine so far for Auburn. So there's been one out of 18 between these two teams. So it's not the baskets because we just saw a couple of hours ago Alabama make 15 for three. <laughs> but uh, what are you looking for here in the second half? Adapt and adjust. That's the name of the game. We've seen Iowa throughout the regular season play well and play poorly in the same game. Can they adapt here? Push and get Murray involved. They got to get him the ball, let him dominate. They run a nice high low for him. Engage him. He is too talented. Conversely, uh, the guards keep penetrating and finding. Nice shot by Broom, that low box area. Jim, collectively, they made one more three pointer than the three of us. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get a chance. There's Williams. There's one. The second of the game for Auburn. I think Jalen was close enough to hear that little uh, <laughs> bit by you, Grant. He said, take that. Prove me wrong. 
Doesn't drop for Euless. Good look, too. Goodness. Again, a little matchup. Green. Back out with it to plan again. I love when they break it, that little step back. Step back, no. But the rebound. Broom with two Hawkeyes near him. Oh, he He's stepped on the line. He's out of bounds. Goodness. I apologize. No shot blocker I said about him. How about the elevation on that rebound? I mean, that was a fantastic Woo. play, but right there, he stepping on the line, running to the three-point line, and just maybe should have got the ball back out to the guards. Green feeding for it. A stagger. Perkins. Let's go back outside. Close. Look at this defense. I haven't seen Murray touch it the first two times down the floor. Now with eight to shoot. Uvis directing. Gotta keep busy, Murray. Perkins. Got to shoot it. Three to shoot. McCaffrey, one to shoot. He got, got it. it. The first of the night. I'll tell you what, he is a confident shooter this year. 38 33%. Oh, he's known as a great passer. Finally for the Hawkeyes. Good pass. Yes, what a read the point. A little run up the lane, opened up that baseline delivery. Tell you what, the physicality of these Auburn guards. Miscommunication. Cause of the turnover. Yep. Tracy, over to you. Jim, I talked to Fran McCaffrey about their offensive struggles, and he said he likes their shot selection. And he can run motions and sets to get something going, but he really wants it to happen organically. As for Chris Murray, well, he said he has the green light. He said he's just got to be a screener right now, and things will open up for him. And one other note, Auburn's Chris Moore remains in the locker room with a right shoulder injury. Right, a shoulder injury. He's not returned. Okay, in the locker room. Outside. Doesn't fall for Jasper. But they've done a nice job cutting and opening it up for others. you got to pick a pop and a mismatch here. Man, this is what we're talking about. He's got green. you got to go to him. There's Murray. Inside, he's fouled. Took too long. Best Coke ever? Take a taste. And see for yourself. Williams has a third foul call. Well, it's tough there for Bracha trying to get the post entry pass and Broome staying back, knowing he's not a jump shooter, staying in the lap of Murray, but at least they are trying to get Murray involved. Auburn goes a little smaller as they sub in Berman for Williams. Oh, he's got to get himself involved like this. There he nice goes. Entry. Got the size of Van Oh, he missed a short shot. All the hustle floor with it is Jasper. Great hustle. 50 50. Green between two Hawkeyes. Stuck. Squeezes it out to Broom. And Flanagan says, let's settle down here for a moment. Make the most out of this trip. I was staying in this matchup zone. Jasper, drive it in, kicks it back out. Green hangs in, that's blocked out of bounds by the Hawkeyes with 4.9 seconds to go. Uh, pretty clever, though. A little step through, just size prevail. Moore is back on the bench for Auburn. There's some good minutes there in that first half, Moore. Somebody's got to take it out. They're all a little bit confused. They didn't keep Williams down with the three fouls for long. He's going to replace Berman. Both teams shooting under 40% for the game. Broom to inbound. Again, under five. Nice denial. Very, very alert. Four now. Williams is one of those guys he can mention his ability to attack. He can get to the free throw line, too. Out to Flanagan. Nice duck in. With one on the shot clock. It rolls off the rim. And look who chases after it. Broom gets it with Murray on the floor. Broom is everywhere, guys. Everywhere. And planning a really nice poise here to get the set organized. He whips yes. it to the corner. Here's the three. Doesn't go for Williams. And McCaffrey surveying, looking, looking. Stops at the top, no nice look cut. pass to Murray inside, trying to get something off. That's blocked by Williams. Well, he is really having his problem. They are just circling. And that was almost a desperation shot there by Murray. Not on balance at all. Just frustrated. A couple chippies inside. Ain't not able to go. And he's missed his last eight shots. And again, he scored on the first trip down the floor for the Hawkeyes. Hasn't made a bucket since. 
It looks like they're going for him more. He just got to relax, loosen up. Great defense. defense by Oh, goodness. Okay, now it's Perkins. Back outside, Uless, three, too strong. And Broom pulls it down. It's a good shot there, wide open. You'd say that will leave me long. Look at Broom from outside. Hits the three. How about this kid? Blows a kiss to the crowd. That's got a double double, 11 and 11. Uh, giveaway here by Fanny. That's his ninth of the year, if I'm not mistaken. He's beat you all over. Seen it up low. How about the reaction? How about this southpaw delivery? Honey! to win this game and certainly we got a long way to go to think of this building on Saturday with Alabama and Auburn who beat doubleheader of course it's pretty wild it'd be pretty wild I'll tell you what guys under 16 timeout to think Iowa has not scored 30 points yet uh, the I mean, defense with Auburn is really good point very special incredible yeah just amazing and Broom has cleaned things up <laughs> Goodness, he's had a great game. Oh, that's a foul. Johnson over aggressive the body. Yes away from the rim that far KD begging a little bit there once again everything difficult every catch difficult because of this Auburn pressure defense uh, trying to post up Murray maybe a little let him run the baseline There's that little curl for him just can't get free. Every ball bodies around him. Tough shot. Man. Head drops though. Sanford. Well, he's got to do that because he's known as a shooter. Even though he struggled early. Shot selection was a problem. Not afraid to shoot. No. Auburn up eight. Ten point lead at the break was the biggest he can. game so far. Hits the side of the basket. Berman. And Ooh. it's going back the other way. Berman takes a little spill into uh, two or three. Photographers. Nice hustle play. Things aren't going well for you when you're with the photographers, but he's ready for his close up. <laughs> Once again, a little baseline bumps. And clear around, give him some. Oh. See, I would love him to attack once he got that ball. Well, especially face up at that yeah. mid post area. There's Perkins. Nice. Suspend for a moment. Berman ends up with it. Presses out. To Numbers three. here. Get that Johnson set for the three. Got it. Johnson not afraid of the moment. He's staring at you, Raph. I uh, know he's got some looks. <laughs> that was for you. Scared the heck out of you. Oh, underneath. Nice oh, Two blocks. Now Murray. How about that? After all the helter skelter action, he finally is able to hit one. And a swish and an important one at that. Does not show any emotion, that kid. Just non plus keeps playing. Room in this half. Five points, four rebounds, two blocks. Now Broom wants it in that box area. Now he moves out and then the roll up. Berman, that's it. He can shoot, no question. Nice challenge by Connor. Let's see if that shot for Murray going in can get him going. And drive it. Sanford bounces it down low. Perkins, after being blocked twice the last time down the floor, hung in there and gets the bucket. So they have moved Broom around a little bit, so he wasn't as dominant. Down to six. Room. Turn around. Nice Stop. hands. Perkins. Perkins. Forced it. And Murray takes off. And comes in. Misses the layup. Oh, wow. What an effort defensively. I agree. They got back. Johnson just hit one of them. Got, got another one. Big turn of events and a run out. Silly foul. And, and, by Johnson and Johnson hit that beautiful three-pointer, but started celebrating with the crowd. Did. Didn't get back. Forgot to get back, right? Of course, he had to foul him there. But you live with that sometimes with Katie Johnson, the good and the bad. Fantastic shot. And look, all of a sudden, nobody else. Donaldson had gone to the baseline. They don't have the protection. You're right. 
regaling in his accomplishment and pays for it mightily. For Johnson, that's three. But you still got to love what he brings to the table. He does, but he must, uh, there might be some nights where you're a little upset. <laughs> Sanford, they're starting to hit their shots both sides. Like a little confusion right there. Auburn, they're supposed to switch that. They didn't. Leaving a jump shooter wide open. Iowa, Iowa's down in this game. Iowa in this second half has hit three threes. Auburn has hit four. After they combined for only one in the first half. Making another one. Listen, how about this kid? Stepping up big time. Not known from deep frequently. Ninth, tenth, I believe, three. Iso here. Sanford, look at this shot. Tough shot, sliding like that. Up Nobody back. back. Nobody Donaldson back. Donaldson is there. Flanagan finds him in the corner. Can he do it again? Yes, yes he can. What a big turn of events. Wow. On a three-point spree. Three after three. And, and Jim, sometimes when you're an offensive-minded team, we're going to see Sanford taking a shot here, a bad one. On the baseline, the guards, nobody rotates back. And all of a sudden, a tough shot, challenge, great contest. And all of a sudden, you've got numbers in the open floor and the ability to finish the deal. And how about this kid? Woo! Is he on fire? You usually know for kick-out threes or high ball screen three. Regaling him. Why not? Magic! NCAA time. Donaldson, two for two from three in this half. It was six just a moment ago, but you got KD Johnson hit a couple of threes. Donaldson, and the margin is 12 with 12 to go. Something right here in that slot. Elbow. Got to take this right here. He has the size advantage. And even look at the basket. Oh, not a good pass here. Down to five seconds and a long errant toss. Johnson comes out with it. Nice now it takes like he's going out and he takes it to the hole. I told you, you have to take everything with this young man. And he doesn't get back. I mean, goodness, come on, just play. Perkins. Right back the two. I know that drives a coach crazy, you and Bruce Pearl. <laughs> but he is the ultimate wild card, Katie Johnson. Mm -hmm. Auburn's bench has outscored the Auburn starters here in this second half. How many team meetings do you think they had between Bruce and <laughs> in his career? Ever since he left Georgia. No confusion here offensively. Shot clock winding down. Donaldson. Oh, oh wow. Step back. How about that? Unconscious. Three for three. The other end. Auburn uh, comes away with it with Flanagan as Iowa rushed it. Flanagan all the way in. Two more. And a nice screen there by Cardwell. Same thing he did earlier, right? Big body just moving people in. And right now, Auburn getting it done from long range and transition defensively. Textbook effort from the Tigers. Auburn with that magical tournament run back in 2019 as a five seed in the Sweet 16, upsetting top seed North Carolina behind 17 made threes and then in the Elite Eight against Kentucky. Jared Harper hit the jumper with under 40 to play to tie the game. In overtime, the Tigers prevailed 77 71. Would go on to lose to number one seed Virginia in Minneapolis in the final four with uh, that foul with six tenths of a second to go. Corner jumper. Right? Yep. Yep, right in front of us to the left. But boy, they exploded. Twice they got it to six, Iowa. All of a sudden, jump shots, playing with some confidence. Donaldson, known for making tough shots. They were easy face-up jumpers, not, not, not really heavy contests. There were, and really, the, the backcourt off the bench. Donaldson, Katie Johnson, huge lift for the second half, combined with that stellar defense and bottling up Johnson. So it's a 16-5 to five run right now, 14 of the 16 coming from the Tigers' bench. And now Iowa's got to do something. Approach the halfway point. No second half. No Murray on the floor either. Nice cut. 
Step back, three. Tapped around, and last touch by Auburn. And 20 back on the clock now. Probably trying to give Murray a little bit of rest and get him back in there. Well, I like the movement. A lot know. of passing, cutting, moving this defense, shifting it from side to side. Just couldn't convert on that last possession. Caffrey, they got a foul. Berman on the push. Ah, uh, Berman. The push off. Let's go over to Tracy. Jim, in the first half, it was Bruce Pearl yelling at his team to get back on defense. Now it's Fran McCaffrey pleading with them to sprint, to run back, to stop jogging and get back on defense. Offensively, he's urging them to be better with their shot selection. Interesting line about there right now without Murray. Gotta be Rebracha maybe on the block at some point. Well, the gets turning the corner. But well, they're really gonna have to trust their offense, try to manufacture baskets through their execution. Perkins has good shot to hold it off. Caught the soft roll. Of course, Iowa has mounted some miracle comebacks. Think about the Michigan State game. Oh my goodness, yes. absolutely. Yeah. Down the stretch. Little snake dribble off the ball, some tough shot here. And it's it Sanford on. for Iowa. Now you can't help the team get back in it. Play solid. Now low they go. This is where they got to go. Sanford chases it down. Scrappy defense by Auburn. Hey, Jim, you were absolutely right. They played great D. Can't break. Nice it up. Rebracha lays it in. So two consecutive buckets down low for the Hawkeyes. His first points of the second half. Are you looking over at Broome coming in? Broome coming in is a must. I would get their rhythm and flow back on the offensive end. Watch CBS Sports HQ for free 24-7 coverage of the big dance and all the biggest moments in sports. Catch tournament highlights, picks, previews, recaps, and much more. Just download the CBS Sports app to watch today. Third foul on Perkins will send Donaldson to the line for a couple. Yeah, guys, we've averages two points and what a night he has had. What a night. And we've we've all been around the tournament for years. Raft a little longer than us, Jim, but you know you can't let your <laughs> your foot off the, the pedal there. You gotta stay on them. And just because you have a nice lead, as you said, Jim, I will capable of getting back into this game. And, was that a lead by his slow? Oh, it's just stated the fact. And Donaldson coached in high school by Charlie Ward. Oh, oh Charlie Ward. Trophy winner, basketball and football sure. player at Florida State. Uh, great renown. Sanford thought about it, now gets set. Short Short and there's Murray, oh, he had it. Yeah. Sanford says, I'll pick that up and hey. fire it in this time for three. Uh, good to see Murray active at least. He's trying to stretch that one, two, one, one. We'll see if they attack. Boone goes in. They need it. Wild shot, and Iowa has it. Press works. Take a quick shot like that. He's a dangerous team the way they score. That's dangerous. He'll be shooting three as the foul is on Donaldson. I appreciate the closeout right there, but you just have to be smart. They work, they drill on that too, like closeout, skip out, or jump stop out, don't go forward. So you send Sanford to the line. And you got three at the line coming. This was 17 just a short while ago. And he could bring it down to single digits. 87% free throw shooter. Got a great stroke. Oh, wow. Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I women's tournament on NCAA.com. Talk about how he struggled at the start of the year. His first three Big Ten games, he was 0 for 19 field goals. Just Incredible for a guy that's such a sharp shooter, but he straightened that out. Well, a friend is such a positive guy about the offensive end. Let's it flow. Put extra pressure on his players. Ten points a game off the bench. Down to ten. 
17 to 10. And a little more pressure extended. They're going to rush you into something quick. Berman. They can shoot it, but they don't need that. Wow. They don't need speed. that. Absolutely. The last couple of trips. Nice hands. Nice. Nice. Get back nice. into it. And a foul called as Broom held his ground. Just timing defensively. Wow. 9 2 stretch for the Hawkeyes. Had a chance to get one there. A nice little spin out, too. Broom underneath the basket. Oh. Tapped up and in by Williams. Well, that was close. They said it was off. Petrusco had a great look from his vantage point, though. Under eight to go. Hawkeyes with a recent flurry. Well, I gotta be Murray time. You gotta come bail him out here. Here's Murray. Had a chance at a three. There you go. Get a little more active. Move around. Now, Too talented. Ten on the game. And down to single digits. You really don't need it now on your stuff. They seem to be playing right on Iowa's hands Absolutely. the last couple of minutes. KD showing some maturity, slowing it down. Nice entry. Crazy. Broom having his way. Williams. Broom. Solid duck in. 15 points, 11 rebounds. There's Murray. Can he get another one? Yes, he can. He can light it up fast. Right, we're seeing it. Warming up at the right time. Timeout call by Auburn. Having a hard time inbounding. Chris Murray. And talent always prevails. Murray stepping up when his teammates need him. Back to back threes. Iowa back in this game. There's your game summary, and Chris Murray's hit two threes in the last 43 seconds. It's a 15 to 6 stretch for the Hawkeyes. I mentioned miracle comeback last month against Michigan State. Trailing by 13 with over just over 90 seconds to play. They came back several threes, including the one by Peyton Sanford to tie the game at the end of regulation and overtime. It was all Hawkeyes. Murray finished with 26, and Iowa won 112 to 106. And Tom Izzo was asked after the game if you've ever seen anything like that. He said, You know, I'm going to go back 30 years. The first game after the Chris Street tragedy, there was a comeback like that against us by Iowa. And he remembered that game. And you know what? I remember Chris Street. To this day, last game he ever played was at Duke. I called it. Grant, you were in that game. It's going to stay with Auburn. He died just tragically in an accident about what three days after the game. And one of the finest student athletes. He sure was. You would ever want to know. They still have that plaque by the locker room oh, yeah. door honoring him as well. And I know Grant. You remember him well going against him that day. He was a great competitor. Still sad 30 years later. It is still hurts. I really don't need any that uh, good play by John twice. Still think of uh, Mike and Patty, mom and dad, big Hawkeye supporters who are no doubt watching right now as the Hawkeye Nation's open for this comeback to continue. But here's Auburn. This is an important trip right now for Auburn. A push by Murray. A little hand in the back. So Murray whistled for that one. That's just the first on him. Now, the reason I said this is an important trip, just composure. Run your half court action. The force of the press and the boom. I think they've had success getting it into boom. Yeah. There's a three point shot. Back to the rim, and it's all Iowa underneath. I don't like that shot on that possession. And Murray was tagging him beautifully. The caboose. Connors the point guard right now. KD Johnson is all that. over him with clean defense, no contact. Sanford kicks it back outside. One more time, this was short. He wasn't on balance. No. Desperation save, it is. And a foul. I think it. Well, that called like Katie Johnson, I think. Called it on Johnson. Yeah. That'd that be a one and one. Did that look like the Virginia pass? A flip oh, on the other side. Oh, he hate yeah. Oh. today. Yeah. Ooh. Gotta be careful in this tournament. It'll be a one and one for McCaffrey. By the way, that's four on KD. That was Johnson's fourth foul. Team seven. Got a great free throw shooter as well. He put baseball this past year. That was his big time player. Right, we'll get one more.
four with six minutes to go. Now, if they make this, they can set up their press. But Auburn, they have to be smart about it. Don't attack the score. The clock is your friend at this point. And Green on that on the floor as well with Jackson. Two strong heads. They have just had trouble. Back to Williams. Doubled up at midcourt. Green with a seam and a lot. Oh, it needed. Goodness. Again, playing right into the Hawkeyes' hands. And Sanford, the sharpshooter. Short on the three and a rebound by Williams. Who comes out of it. Got good, fouled. Actually, a good foul. That was a run out. Four guys in the open floor. That's right at you, Jim. Actually, they lucked out right there. Auburn and Sanford wide open. They're too busy complaining about the play on the other end. Didn't get back. And just look at the numbers on this, though. Yeah. Phil here, Phil there. Phil, oh, my goodness. Excellent. Excellent foul. The foul was on Robracha, his first. And you can set up your full court pressure here, which, as we talked, Auburn struggled with a bit. I think you can gamble more now. They're not going to go. I think they're going to get over the timeline and run their offense. Maybe boom time. Right. Oh, Flanagan. A little double drag out top. He wanted it. It's not there. Ooh. All right, deflection. By the way, down the, down the eight. eight on the shot clock. As Green brings it up quickly. Oh, they got a foul to reach in. Reach okay. in with three seconds to go. Robracha or Patrick. Second on Robracha here in a matter of seconds. In those situations, short clock. I like it when guards against bigger defenders attack. Mm -hmm. They'll settle. Green did the right thing on that possession. That's just the 15 foul in Iowa, so Green will inbound. Bounces it right off of McCaffrey. They weren't ready. They weren't ready no. to run the stuff with Bruce's coercing over there then they can switch on the inbound the inbound, pa Flanagan. The inbound passer has to make sure everybody's in their spots and aware of what that set is that's what Bruce Pearl is yelling at Williams, one of those guys now that can make some shots for them strong tough kids nice pass underneath they go bounces off the back of the rim boy they had the shot they wanted pass. look at the entry oh! 17 to 4 with 5 to play. And that's the assertiveness, assertiveness right there that you were talking about. How about the pass by McCaffrey? That's experience, not afraid of the moment, but running the floor, duck in, and what a delivery. Bang! Big time finish. Very alert. It runs into family talent personified. Easy what like pressure and then you know took a pressure to real pressure to defuse this Auburn team and it, it's really in the guards' hands now if they're gonna get some composure back. Yeah, Auburn's been seduced into playing fast and playing right into Iowa's hands here. Williams to inbound. And it's Jasper. Back over to Williams. They break it with ease. And that's going to be a push off on Sanford. But you know, even that play, what is he doing there? I'd like, bring it back out and run your offense. Unfortunate to get that foul. Still not on the one and one. The next one will be. Just the first foul on Sanford. So here we go. Auburn to inbound. A little zone look on that inbounds. Flex cut. Nice switch out top here. Panagan with Murray on. Counts to Green. Now with seven to shoot. Green. On a five. Perkins defending. Finds a seam. Lays it up. What a play. How about the hold off? Really a smart play. Wendell Green. With the basket and Broom vacating, giving him an opportunity. First points of the half for Green. Big basket. It's up. They got a hold underneath. On Broom. Yeah, no, I think it was on. Uh, 
So Flanagan, Jesper, I think. Flanagan. Zip, yeah, Zip, I thought, on the whole, number 12. Okay, it is. This is his second. Boy, stops the clock, gives you a chance for two. A nice post up, though. Jasper, his second. It's 1 1 again for McCaffrey. Great free throw shooter. Yeah. As you noted earlier, you get a chance to set the press up, too. I right hear if you make it, you have that chance. Got them both. At the point of attack, you got Murray, who's got some length. We'll channel it one way. We just want over to take the bait. I would man to man now got out of that zone. Green and he got tripped. Uh, Perkins. Yeah. Allen. Perkins slipped. Slipped It'll across the one. trip. We have one and one coming out of the under four. Go. McCaffrey's team was down 17, but now look at it. 66-62. Going to break. Perkins called for the foul. The trip it was his fourth. He's going to stay on the floor for Iowa. That ability to get to the free throw line too shoots at that 80 percent high percentage. Yep. Just fresh off a great drive to the basket late on the clock. One and one. All net. So big when your guards who handle the ball can knock those babies down coming down the stretch. Consecutive made free throws. And you refrained, I admire you. I, I, I did it on the back side, <laughs> absolutely. Smartly. Murray's got to keep busy. Flanagan is staying attached to Murray. But they had the switch they wanted with Rebracha. This kid can go. Went in on room. Goes back out with it to Murray. Murray with a three. Look at the check out they're going to call on Rebracha. Oh, no. oh, stay right oh, here. Yeah. It's on Auburn. Is that green underneath? They got one on. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah on this checkout with Sanford right here. I think they got it on Williams. But they got it on yeah, Williams. Williams. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's his did. that's his fourth. He had inside position there. Looked like he lost his balance a bit. Racha right there. This certainly goes well for Iowa. Back to the free throw line. Stopping the clock. And time to set up the rest. Ball tapped around. Murray has it. Iowa. Sanford. Look who's inside Murray. Going the other way this time. But I got Rabacha on the clear out. Yeah. But Green does mix it up, though. I'll give him that. He was. Look, look, at, his, give, look, look at him. him. Boxing him out. Uh, and that is just courage under fire. Third on Rabacha. All coming in this. Half and it's still a one and one. Johnson with four fouls in for Jasper. Same guy in the free throw line. One and one with 322 to go. Interesting how he moves his feet. Have you noticed that on the free throw? You usually get locked in. And he doesn't toe the free throw line either. He's about a foot beyond the free throw line. But you're right, a lot of, a lot of movement. movement there as he gets into his routine. Yeah, that's interesting. Take him over a 10 footer. <laughs> how about those four that he's made here in the late going to extend the school record? He's had. Uh, Auburn's last six points, four at the line. Murray, they need it. 
Good Put back, this Sanford. A little quick. And Broom clears Numbers. it. They got two on one. Johnson Good coming back with the win. Foul outside first. Smart play. Foul on McCaffrey outside before the shot. But how about Broom with that big time rebound right there as he's looks like he's laboring a bit. Two on one fast break. Hurt his toe, what baby. McCaffrey can do is foul in that situation. Great rebound and great awareness on that outlet pass. Yeah, he's walking gingerly as Broom was holding his right foot. Uh, Bruce talking about his contributions this year. Where would they be without him? He's been solid. What a performance tonight. Margin is eight with three to play. It's got to be quick. Sanford drives in. Got it to go. It's smart. You don't need a three. Easy two right there. Set up your press. This is where you got to be intelligent. You don't have something to pick it out. Nice look. And a tip away. Labracha commits his fourth as he tried to deny Broom from going uncontested. And not a a bad foul right there for Iowa. 58% free throw shooter for Broom. Flanagan missed the front end of that one-on-one -on, -one on the last possession, so not a bad play. How, how about Johnson, though? Did you tell him to slow it down? No. He tell you which road to take out of town. Slow shots. CBS proud to be the only network that can bring you all new episodes of American Dad. The new season premieres Monday, March 27th, only on TBS. Rodgers gets a little blow with the foul problem. Patrick McCaffrey on the floor. And Broom, you saw it, 58% on the season. Nice throw. He's been flawless. 17 points and 12 rebounds for Broom to go with four blocks. Underneath, five Auburn's blocks. coming out with it. They've got him pinned, and they call a timeout. That's Green smartly. Look at Broom. He deserves it. Wants the accolades, big time block, what a performance by the big fella. The portal attractive Dorber. I mean, his fifth block was a beauty. He has been the star of the game. Janai Broom. The gym was incredible that that fifth block, he's not an explosive guy. You think of last year, Walker Kessler, who was so long and athletic above the rim, but Great timing, anticipation, and desire on the defensive end. And having an incredible evening for his Tigers. He inbounds it here to Green. Uh, has pulled the string a little bit. They use that clock. Going for Broome, I think, at some point. Green driving in. Green coming to life late in the game. That's eight points in late action. For Wendell Green. Oh, and a foul call. Well, Sam Rabacha to the line. Uh, Broom thought he was clean. You get the nickel dimer there. Broom right here. Good defense. And oh, he might no, be right. He might be right. I agree. Katie Johnson. <laughs> How about him chest? How about him chastising somebody about not using what was the way of finding the cameras? How about that one finding the hole, bouncing around and dropping for Robracha? His father Zelko played in the NBA. He just missed out by about a year of being a teammate with him at Detroit. 16 years his dad played overseas, including in Serbia and Italy. And got a ring, you were saying too, Jim, right? Yeah. That's right. Played with the Larry champion Brown, 2004, coach. Detroit Pistons. You cast a few from that town. Yeah, they try to get oh, it deep. Flanagan, can he get there? Oh, they turn it over. Now they now take it against the inbound yeah. at the other end. Exactly. Never touched. Just, Bruce can't believe it. Just gave him back-to-back -back possessions. Well, this team, we, as you noted with Michigan State's game, uh, they can really turn it up a notch quickly. Connor McCaffrey, the inbound. 
Out to Sanford. Ran him off the line. Got the shot to drop. Max for Sanford. Another bucket. Got 18 on the night. See if they want to trap it here. Not going to back it off. Six point game with 145 to play. It's your rhythm, though. Move. Don't just pound the ball if you're Auburn. Be in your set, little cross screen guards to get Broom to the box. Two players around Broom, and he is fouled. It was a right idea by Connor McCaffrey. Just got to be big and not try to reach in there on that double team. That's four on Connor. And Broom, who just hit two free throws, returns to shoot two more. We've talked about how he transferred in from Moorhead State. Where he led the Eagles two years in points and rebounds and played in the NCAA tournament two years ago at Moorhead State. And lost in the opening round to West Virginia. Oh, he's going to make three straight here in late action. Jimmy's had eight games with four plus blocks this season. Another one tonight. Tonight, too. Yeah. He's got his 10th double double of the season. And he is hitting from the line. I mean, his game. Caffrey. Outside Murray. Back to the rim. Pass That's around right Flanagan. Big rebound. Nobody back. Just green. All over the give up. He wins with the dunk. Boy, that's been a problem. Balance in the floor for Iowa. There were three Tigers who broke early. Sanford. Three. Yes. Timeout. They don't go away though. We've seen it's been there in time of year, but when you don't balance that backcourt, oh, you pay dearly. Big, your boy's right here, big time. Ram McCaffrey and the Hawkeyes down seven with 106 to play. The arrow belongs to Iowa, but Auburn to inbound. Raph, Auburn's done a good job getting the ball from the back court into the front court. I think Iowa still has to trap. And they got a good job here. Murray did a nice job denying them. Green got it back to him. Green oh. loops it down the flat again. Flies in for the basket. How about that challenge? Not back at all. Now the captain in the paint. Smothered. Outside they go, three-pointer short. That was nice flat. rebound, Connor. Brother gets the rebound, puts it up and in. 43 seconds, seven-point game. Green takes off. Ooh, spins away for a moment from Ulis. Yeah, Murray could have closed that. They've got to foul somebody here with 35 seconds, and it's Green who's encouraging the crowd to stand on its feet. In the last three and a half minutes, he's had eight points and two assists. Has green, and he's going to shoot two more. And guys, his numbers aren't gaudy, only 13 points, but he's hit some big-time layups, free throws, leadership, ball handling. Green, combined with Broom, who we talked about in the opening, have really been the difference for Auburn on the offensive end. Stopping the action here is a fouled-out player, Tony Perkins. He is finished for the night. His fifth. The guards can stump you once in a while for Auburn, uh, <laughs> but uh, they had to contribute. Over to Trace. Jim, from that five-minute turnout timeout in that huddle, Bruce Pearl challenged Wendell Green. He was all over him, and he has certainly answered down the stretch here tonight. Yeah, he's certainly been up to it. Step before. I can't picture Bruce being emotional in the huddle at all. <laughs> challenged, <laughs> challenged his guy? What are you talking no, about? That's not his style whatsoever. Auburn's put up 50 in the second half. There's your little dance step. Shrugs the shoulders, too. Locked in concentration. Uh, you don't want to foul. Back it off. 30 seconds to go. Got to get something up. Ball comes out. Auburn has it. You really don't need it. Smart. Up to Williams. That should be it. That is going to do it. The crowd knows it too. 
Now talking about a home court influence. And they have the fans here. And they just have the players. Never underestimate Bruce Pearl and his teams. He just has a way of getting them mostly immersed in a ball game and raising their level of play. And especially when they're underdogs. Mm. Uh, like we were talking about in 2019 to the Final Four as a five seed. Yeah. Now he can stoke the fires. And they came out ready to play from the start. And there's the heartbreak of this tournament. It is real. Yeah, it is. It is deep. What a thrill to be able to play for his father. Of course, the other side of that, for his father to be able to coach his sons. Yeah. So meaningful for these young guys. Thoughts for a lifetime. So gets the second one. Take a groom out. How much of a response after the game he had? <laughs> Ulis driving past Johnson. They give him the layup with 12 seconds. And number two, number one, Aaron Ulis. Johnson gets away, and they're just going to let it go. And Auburn's going to advance to round two. He will do something, Jim. Keep your eye on him. <laughs> and this is over. He's not too bad. Right at the fan oh, there he goes. He wants to play the tuba before he goes in. <laughs> 83-75 final. Auburn. Well, they had to withstand the furious comeback attempt by the Hawkeyes. Valiant effort. So many guys talking about room. How about Donaldson's ball game? He was impressive. Impressive. Collective right there defensively. Physicality on defense giving Iowa problems all night. 21st win of the season. Auburn will take on the winner of the Houston Northern Kentucky game, which is coming up on this floor in a short while. Green, yeah, he certainly answered the challenge late. A.D. Johnson still that flip. I can't believe it. He's walking just fine after that. Nasty fall. Bruce Pearl and his team. Just two hours from campus. Have advanced to round two. We saw them last year. They were a two C. That was a bitter disappointment last year to have Jabari Smith and Walker Kessler and not get out of the opening weekend. But we're going to go over now to Tracy. Thanks a lot tonight. Just a monster game for you. 19 points, 12 rebounds, five blocks in front of this crowd. What was working? so well tonight. You know, what well, we all had on defense and uh, protecting the rim. You know, I like to do whatever it takes for my team to win. And I had to get some blocks, get some rebounds, and now we got a victory. This team down the stretch, a little inconsistent. But in this game, when it got tight, you guys said, no way. We're going to close this one out. What does it say about your team, where you guys are now? For sure. You know, we're in March Madness. You know, um, you live and you learn. We let a lot of them slip away, but we won't let this one slip away. And you advance. Yes, Congratulations. Thank you. On to the next round.